One time I was driving for my mom to get her lunch. She told me that I had to drop it off by 12 at her school. I left my house early, and on the way she texted me to change the restaurant. I plugged in the address on my phone and trusted myself to get there. The phone took me to a random shopping mall. I got flustered by the location, but I got too nervous to back out, so I reluctantly paid the parking fee and went inside the garage. I walked inside, and as I was waiting in line, I checked my watch. 11.40. I waited longer and longer as the order was placed, and I kept furiously checking my watch. 11.41. 11.42. 11.45. 11.50. I was 20 minutes away from her school and I didn't even have her order yet. My chest seized up. My breathing... I was stiff. Floating in the limbo of tension, suspended, watching the world move around me as I stood still. My heart... The sweat rolled off my body. I looked at the watch. Twelve. Twelve o'clock and I couldn't breathe. Twelve o'clock and I was standing there. Twelve o'clock. And I had had my worst panic attack yet. Do you know how to breathe? In. Out. In. Out. Simple. The professor is looking my way. Don't look at them. They know you're not adequate. They know you don't know. Stupid, stupid, stupid. What does it feel like to breathe again? They're making eye contact. Those confident people thrusting their hands in the air. I know, I know. Their eyes shout, eager to learn. Why aren't you like them? You want to learn. You want to breathe. How do you breathe again? My words crumble in front of me. How do you... How do you... How do you... In... Out. In... Out. They didn't call on you. The city moves so fast, and I move so slow, in movement only, while my mind races around me, while the world swirls near me, and I'm left, working, at double time when I want to sit and breathe, working, to fix something where the creation baffles me, working, to see the world at the right pace, at the right time, so I wait. And so, I breathe.